Hi everyone, I am back for part three of this process video that I've been doing. Um, today I wanted to work on the these pages with the tuck spots um, on the fronts and backs of the outside of the pattern paper. So what I thought, um, I would start with this one and I'm gonna put the, oh, I'm not even in frame, lovely. Here we go. I want to put the corner tuck right here. And originally I did want to sew it, but I think I want to glue these. And I'm saying this, you know what? Let me see if I can move this camera just a little bit. Excuse the mess on my desk. And look, there's a little creepy man staring at me. Hmm. Um, I want to glue it because I don't know why, just because. <laughs> so I'm thinking I want to glue these, but I'm thinking that I'm going to probably want to sew this. Or do I want to do it the other way around? Nope, I'm going to sew this part and I'm going to glue this part. So I'm just, for the gluing, taking my favorite glue and I'm just going to run a bead of glue, so it's going to sit like this. I'm going to run a bead of glue under this edge here and this edge here. So, oops, this edge and this edge. So that way, this is free to tuck in and out. Well, that didn't make sense. For you to tuck things in and out. And just run a little single bead of glue, just like that. And then just line it up as best you can to the corners and to the sides oh and don't shake your hand like I'm shaking my hand and the nice thing about using wet glue is that you know you do have that little allowance oh no stuff is falling you do have the little allowance to um, line everything up correctly I used to be somebody who used score tape a lot and it's kind of like you better make sure that wherever you're sticking you're sticking because for it to come back off it's almost next to impossible okay and it does take just a few seconds to dry and then you know you can open it up and just press it down again and I'm not going to play with it too much but um, there it is so we have the little flip here and this is still open make sure to tuck some tags in that we're going to make so that is that side now, while that's drying, let's do the other side. And so for this side, what I usually like to do anyway, I said that I was sewing, but I am gonna put just a little bit of glue just to hold it down while we sew. I mean, you don't have to put a lot, just a little here, a little here, a little over there, and line that up as best you can on this side. Okay. All right, so when this dries, what I'm gonna do is I wanna run a stitch, and I'll be very careful because I know I only put a little glue, but I wanna run a stitch from here all the way around here. So that way, you know, you kind of see the sewing because I love journals where you can see the sewing and you see the threads and all that fun stuff. So I'm going to run it just here so it will seal the pocket, but it will also show all the way around. And then this one obviously will just be like that. So I'm going to run a single stitch around. I'll be right back. All right, so here is the pocket. I, hope, I don't know if you can see it. Let me just, there we go. And it goes all the way around. And the nice part about when you sew like this, you can also see it on this side, which I absolutely love. You can just see the design all the way around. No, you can't. I'm not even in camera. No, can you? Maybe? No, yeah, sort of. Okay. So that's it for now for this page. I said for now because you know me, I'm going to come back and I'm going to put lace and I'm going to put trims. But for now, I want to set this one aside and go to the next piece. Um, let's see. All right, this is the one that I wanted the middle. Um, I'll do that one last. But I sort of wanted to incorporate this pocket somehow. Um, 
from thinking something like this. Or because, I don't, oh, I'm sorry, I'm not in camera. I want to incorporate this, but see if I put it all the way down to the bottom, it hangs over just a little bit. And, you know, I mean, that's okay, but you know, if I put it up just a tad, just like this, glue it down, I can always glue on some lace here, and then the, it doesn't interfere with the corner there, if you can see. Because see, if it goes down too much, it's kind of off. So maybe I'll put it right like this and then put some lace under here after. I think that's what I'll do. And again, since I already um, sewed around every all the corners, all the edges, I'm not going to re-sew. I'm just gonna put, again, glue on the back of this side and this side, stick it down, leave this side open. So let's go and put some glue on this side and this side. And also when you put glue on the stitches, it kind of just seals them just a tad bit better. All right, now I have to make sure I am putting it where I want it, which I believe was right there. Perfect, okay. Let me move that one out just a tad. All right, and let that dry just for a minute. Actually, you know what I might do because the glue does come through the coffee filter. I'm going to do a quick pause, dry it with my glue gun. Okay, so I'm back and I just realized I said I'm going to dry it with my glue gun because of course glue guns can dry things. I meant to say heat gun. Sorry about that. Okay, so this is dry now and we have a little tuck there. Um, not in this video, but probably in another video is when we'll embellish everything. So I'll just remember that I do want to put some kind of lace or trim something down here just to, because there's this empty space and I just don't want that empty space. And maybe even layer something on here, but I just love the way the coffee filter looks when it's coffee dyed. So, all right, so that's gonna be on that side. Here's the inside. And now on the back, do I want a pocket or do I want a tuck spot? Um, let me see, it's this one. Or it's this one so we can do this or we can do this shoo, 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 shoo. I think actually I kind of want to do this <laughs> decisions 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 or do I want to do this I like this top better and you know what I want to do, I've got an idea. I'm gonna sew again around here, but I'm gonna sew, sew it open like this. Actually, I'll start the stitch here, because I think if I sew over this, it won't close very well. I'll start the stitch here and just sew in the middle. Oh, but then I wanted to showcase some sewing around here. So that kind of defeats the purpose. Hmm, let me think about this. Okay, so I thought, and while I thought I did, and I did it off camera, I'm sorry, but <clears throat> I'll come back and show you what I did. So I ended up sewing here around the edge instead of gluing. And I mean, you can't see that, but it's okay because when you lift up the flap, you can see that all the way around, no, you can't see. Can you see now? Mm, there we go, maybe but all around the edge. It's almost continuous except for right here. There's a little gap, but you know what? That's okay. And um, I just sewed all around there. All right, so this pocket for now, or this page I should say is done. So we have these two done. We have one more and that is the middle piece, which I absolutely love. I don't know how well this image will show up, but in person, it's just, oh to die for. I love the script here and then the, the flowers. Very shabby chic looking. All right, so let's decide what we wanna do for this one and these two. So let me just put this aside for now. Uh, I'm gonna cover this man's face because he's kinda creepy. There we go, goodbye. Um, we could always do, 
<laughs> there are pockets um, where you can tuck up here, but I'm not sure because I feel like it's just going to fall out. I know I've seen a lot of people do it, but I'm not that brave. Not just yet. So I will put it on the bottom, on the front or the back. Um, you know what? I'm going to do this one on the front. And I'm going to glue it only because I don't want any stitching to go through here because I just love that image way too much. So let's just glue that one on right now. Eh, I think it just doesn't really matter what side. All right, so again, we're going to do a little glue. Okay, so that is glued on there. Oh, got it on the back, but it's okay. All right, so let's let that dry just for a bit. Now, for the other side, let's see. We'll do this, but see, I kind of, hmm, 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 hmm. I don't know. Let me think about that. I'll be right back. Okay, so while out on my hiatus, as I was thinking, as you can see, I went way off in left field somewhere. I this I don't know where this came from, but I was trying to figure out if I you know how I, I wanted that. Where is it? This piece right here, like this, and I was like, you know what? Hmm, I do, but I don't, but I do, but I don't. And as I was twirling around in my chair, thinking, looking at the ceiling, I said, no, I want a different kind of pocket. <laughs> so here it is. So this one, you tuck some, you can tuck something here. So we'll definitely make some tags and fun goodies to go in there. But then I thought, make an itty bitty pocket right here to put something in. How cute is this little tiny pocket? And so here, I stitched around. Before I glued this piece down to the paper, I stitched this piece to this piece. And then I took my glue, ran a bead of glue this way, this way, to stick this down. See, so there's no... I didn't want to, I just, I love this side too much. I didn't want any sewing on it. Um, so I glued this side here, but I sewed this on just to this paper. So we have a tuck here and a tuck here. And I think it came out so cute. And then maybe even a little flower we can, or something we can put on there. I'll think about that. So here's the front, here's the back, and this one is done. So we have the three outside um, tuck spots of the pages done. I don't know if that made sense, but I think you know what I mean. So what we have left to sew and glue are the three ones where the stuff is on the inside, these pockets. And I was thinking, do we put these pockets on each one? And it's like, I want to, but I don't. Oh gosh, here I go again. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm afraid if I pause it, it's going to come back and it's going to be something completely different. Um, hmm. Gosh. This is, why is this so tricky? Um. Oh, goodness gracious. This one, I think I remember I wanted to do be, and then put lace on the side because, see, it's a little bit shorter. Or do I just not do it at all and... These can be pages where there's, you know what? I'm getting ideas. This one is gonna just have lace on it. Okay, let's put this aside. This will definitely keep for something. I don't know what, but something. So let me just put it there. So this one's going in the almost complete pile. So we have two. And let's see how they line up. Not too shabby. Well, kind of. <laughs> okay, so four pockets. One, two, three, four, that one's blank, or do I want more blank spots for other stuff? 
I think that, um, no, I will do these. So what I'm going to do is actually, you know what I might do? I'm going to sew all around the edges here, all the way around for both of them. Because I think, yeah, I, I'm going to like the way it looks on the back and on the front, or the front and the back. So let me do that, and I'll be right back. Okay, so here is the finished, oh, let me move this so I can set these down a little better, the finished product. So the pockets are here, and you know, I don't glue the middle only because it's going to be sewed when we sew it into the binding, you know, the three holes anyway, so I'm not worried about it coming up. So we have this one, and we have this one, and they're all sewn all the way around the edges. I just like the way the sewing looks on paper. All right, so we have all of our pages sewn for the most part, I think. And again, my disclaimer, it's not, I, I might change my mind. I really will, probably a hundred more times. But for now, for now, this is complete. So all six of these pages are finished <laughs> and I think I've taken up enough of your time today so next time we're gonna work on um, embellishing some of the pages and that might be a two-part video only because sometimes you when it gets to embellishing just like the sewing you know you change your mind and you change your mind again and I don't want a long drawn-out video but we'll work on embellishing some of the pages with ribbons and other fun stuff S yeah and then yes okay so that's what we'll do for next video embellishing <laughs> so I hope you found this one helpful thanks for stopping by see you